Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Marit Larson. Hello, everyone. So, my my dear, I have a lot to talk to you about today. Um, first of all, I wanna I wanna say you have a beautiful voice, and and I love listening to you. Thank sing. you very much. And your songwriting skills are, are are excellent. And and I just I wanna talk about your new EP, but first I wanna talk about yeah, your thank you. your past. Many people know you. Um, from the group M to M, um, and and you, you know you were in a pop duo as a teenager. So I want to know what that was like for you. I mean, you have a career that started when you were what, like age eight? You formed your first band. I was thirteen, actually. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's a long time ago. Yeah, this year marks my twentieth year as a recording artist. It's kind of crazy. That's great. Um, I think looking back now at, at the um, M2M days, I think it was just the best education of pop music that I've ever gotten. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, I was I was so young, and I I mean we didn't even really have any references, so we didn't know um, we didn't know what to compare our experiences with. Um, we went through some mind-blowing, amazing, crazy things that most artists never get to do. And we didn't really know. We had fun, but we mm-hmm. didn't really know how uh, crazy it was. Right, right. Well, and I imagine being that young, you know what I mean? Like, your whole world is just it's, it's just crazy. It's just absolutely crazy that yeah. knowing that you, you know, I mean... You guys released a children's album. You were nominated for award for an award for that at such a young age. And, I mean, I just can't even imagine what 12- or 13-year-old, you know what I mean? <laughs> Most of their future is recent yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and birthday. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> that, but it was, it was a little bit crazy. And I, I think um, having that experience... Um, really uh, prepared me for making an informed choice to become a solo artist when I was uh, a little older. Um, You know, I felt like I was um, starting over and I was only 20, 21 years old (laughs) when I started thinking about going solo. Um, But I think it was so important to have, you know, my my best friend was there with me. We Mm -hmm. had each other to lean on and we went through it all together. It was a really good way to to get everything started. Um, Absolutely. absolutely. And then um, by the time I decided to try doing solo stuff, um, I knew a little bit more about uh, what I wanted to do, but maybe more importantly, what I didn't want to do. And I think now um, one of the most important things I've learned about being an artist is you have to know. that you can say no right. to things, you know. You can um, uh, to try to be clear um, to your fans and to your listeners. Um, mm-hmm. You have to try to trust your instincts and, and say no every once in a while. Absolutely. Even if the opportunities are great, then, you know, they're not all for you. Absolutely. And and I love that you said that because I've always told people, you know, when, you know, especially when it's guys talking about they can't figure out women and they don't, we never know what we want. I, and I always say, but we know what we don't want. So I'm so glad that you exactly. said that right now because it's, it's perfect. And I think it's equally important. It, it, it is. And I think it's great to acknowledge that. And I think that everybody can, can take and learn from that because it's true. And um, there's something else about you that I absolutely love, and I know you're going to probably laugh at me for this, but you have a love of coffee, I believe. <laughs> and I am like a coffee I junkie. Do. So when I meet people that love coffee as much as <laughs> I do, I'm like, oh, instant connection. I love it. Um, but, but no, seriously. I'm sorry we're not having coffee right now for I, this interview. <laughs> well, actually, I am having coffee. It's right here with me. <laughs> so, well, because of the time difference, I'm not. But, <laughs> oh, I, you know, I was going to ask about that. I don't even know. I know you're in Norway. What is the time difference? It is almost 7 in the evening. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Well, it's 9.30 in the morning <laughs> <Yeah>. here. So, <laughs> um, so yes, I, but I, I see in, in the evening I drink coffee, too, because I'm just a complete idiot when it comes to coffee. But so so your, your fifth solo album is called Joni Was Right. I happen to know that Joni Mitchell yes. is one of your influences. Is this why you named the album Joni Was Right? 
Yeah, I mean, I feel like um, the title is definitely a tribute to Joni. She has shaped me as an artist and as a human being, I would say, since I was 16 and discovered her, her record. Mm-hmm. Um, a friend of mine gave me um, three of her albums, um, Blue, Courtney's Bark, and Ladies of the Canyon, mm-hmm. and said, these records are going to change your life, and they did. Um Firstly, because I, I went into acute uh, writer's block. I couldn't write anything for about a year or something because I felt like she was the closest thing to per- perfection that I had ever encountered oh, wow. <laughs> in music. So I just felt like I felt like I had nothing to add. You know, mm-hmm. she had just done it all. She had told all the stories. Um, But then I learned all her songs, all her lyrics by heart, of course, um, as you do. And as I've grown older, I've encountered so many situations where um, I've come to really understand her lyrics. And I've felt like she's almost been, um, you know, the kind of annoying big sister who tries to warn you about things that you're not supposed to do, um, men you're going to meet, all that kind of stuff. Right. you have to experience it for yourself. Right. So for me, Joni has been that person, um, although she has no idea who I am. <laughs> right. Well, um, that's she's been right about so many things in my life. Right. Right. <laughs> I I think it's great that you're you know you're you're crediting her for this because you know oftentimes we're inspired by people and we do our thing and you know um, and it never gets it never really gets brought out and and I love the fact that you're you're crediting her so much with who you are, who you've become and how you how you do your music. Um I think that's really I think that's very telling of the kind of person you yourself are and and I just think that's very inspirational Thank you for to saying those, that. those who are listening. Well, absolutely. I mean, it takes a lot for people to admit, well, you know what? This came from somewhere else. I needed this inspiration from somewhere else. It wasn't all me. It takes a lot for people to admit that they weren't the sole reason for why they created what they created. And so kudos to you on that. I think that's, yeah, exactly. I think that's great. And and your song. I mean, she should probably be credited for everything I've written since then. I feel like by the time I, when I did start writing songs again after I discovered her, I feel like she's been... She's been like a vein that's gone through all all that I've created, right. really. I, I think it's great, and I'm 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 definitely glad that you. you if know, that makes sense in English. Oh, it does. No, it every once in a while, I'm very, yeah. <laughs> No, you're great. You're great. Yeah. It, 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 I, I think it's definitely easily <laughs> understood. And your title, Joni was right. Okay, good. And your song, um, you know, you have a you have a video on your social media. Is it, is it on your social media or on your website? I can't remember where I saw it. But I, I played the the video of you singing, um, and everybody was in a room, and it was just it was so beautiful. And it was a short clip; it wasn't the full thing. And I was like dying for more. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to see the whole thing. Oh, really? Yes. Um, so I I, I definitely. <laughs> you so nice to hear. Your your performing, you know, your performance was very captivating in that in that video, and it, it it was, and just the emotions that everybody, you know, your band was was displaying, and that was was phenomenal. I thought, and you know, I mean, all the responses that I've been seeing on your Thank on you your so Facebook, much. I mean, your fans love you. Yeah, I I was on there this morning, and I was like, comment <laughs> after comment after comment, very people sweet. just from all over the yeah. world, and and I was blown away. I mean, you have fans everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. How does that feel? Well, you know, it's so fun. You know, the the really fun part is um, I just made my own record label mm-hmm. um, after being signed to major. Since I was 13, I now have my own uh, record label. And because of that, I can release my album uh, worldwide digitally at the same time. Right. So that's actually never happened in my career before. And I'm noticing that I have listeners in all these places. I had no idea people even knew who I was. Right. Um, and because it's my label, like, you know, I have them. Um, this is so, so nerdy. Um, <laughs> yes. I apologize in advance. But, you know, I can see I have, like, the... Um, uh, the data of uh-huh. where I can check where people are listening, where they're right. streaming, right. Uh, that they're adding me to playlists, everything. The music is just taking on a life on its own. 
That's great. It's, it's amazing. I, I love paying attention to every single, mm-hmm. <laughs> now I can see every single stream. You I, know? I think it's great. And I think, I think by doing that, you're, you're opening yourself up to learning so much more about the industry. And, you know, I know that that's, that's no doubt going to make you even more successful because you're going to be able to see what's working the best, what's not working as well, or, you know, whatever the case may be. So I'm glad that you're as fully involved with your album and your music as you are, because I think that's the only way to have more control of your career. And so again, bravo on your choice there because not enough people stand up for themselves in the music industry. Not a, not enough people know enough about every aspect you know, of the industry, so they're relying no, on I other agree, people. I agree. Yeah, and also I think it's it's risky to have people do the talking for mm-hmm. you. I think to be able to make sure that you're communicating honestly to your listeners, you right. have to be the one doing it. You Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. It's, um, it's very important to me. As, well, and and as, as it should be. I mean, this is your baby, right? This is your life right here. This is great. So I'm I'm very uh, yeah. I'm very excited Absolutely. that you're a huge <laughs> huge part of that. Now, so what do you have coming up in 2016? Do you have any live shows that are coming up that we can talk about so that we can get people there to see you? Well, we are going on tour um, at the end of April, but that is in Norway. Um, mm-hmm. I'm playing New York for the first time uh, in years, actually, uh, in May. Oh, wow. So that'll be fun. And then we're hoping to do, um, to find the right support tour or do a small club tour on our own in America in uh, the fall. Oh, okay. So that's what we're working on, and I'm going to be recording um, more music in June. I'm, I'm trying to just juggle the different parts of my life with some um, writing and studio time and touring a little bit um, um yeah i'm looking for the right words here <laughs> but I've, um my periods uh, have been very um like i've gone on tour for for a year and i've mm-hmm. been in the studio for three months and i've gone on um, tour again for a year i want to try to juggle these things so i can do all of them right. more often Right. No, I, I, no, it does. It it does absolutely. Well, please keep us updated when you have your New York date. It, you know, when you do your your tour here in America, let us know so we can promote it for you. Um, because really, everybody, everybody so is going to benefit yeah. from going to one of your shows because we don't hear voices like yours every day. And you're very passionate in what you do, <laughs> and it's, it's it's a beautiful you're thing. Very nice. Beautiful thing. Well, I love your voice. Thank you I'm, so I'm, much. I'm a fan. <laughs> um, well, th- thank you so much for, for taking this the time. This is the nicest call I've had all day. <laughs> really? Aw, you are so sweet. I'm, and, I'm, and I'm sitting here thinking, like, this is so awesome talking to you, and I can't believe you're in another country right now. And you're, like, the sweetest person ever, and I, I'm fully enjoying this. So, um, but thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, likewise. And, and, you know, just keep us updated. Good luck on everything. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. I know you're a busy girl. You've got more phone calls, so I'm going to let you go. Um, but definitely, man, just keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> okay. I, I'm thoroughly impressed. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. You have, <laughs> well, you have a good you. rest of your evening, I should say, not day, right? Have a good night, my dear. And, and you have a good soon. rest of your day. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> we will. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.